Hello, hello to you all, uh, or hello to nobody, <laughs> dependent on which it is at this stage. Um, if you remember rightly, I said I was going to try and get along uh, a little further, and I have gotten through the cave. Um, well, part of the cave, anyway. I thought I'd try and uh, do this. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> Every time I try and do this, something occurs that distracts me. It's unbelievable. It appears my web connection's just gone down, which has kicked in a load of little messages flashing across my screen, and that distracted me there. So, anyway, if you remember rightly, so we're going to skip some because the cave was irritating and boring. And I was fairly right, although it was only boring and irritating for a few minutes. Uh, which is likely, in fairness, the boring bit will come again. Anyway, once you exit the cave, you find this metal man. Not literally a metal man. Ah, oh, shouldn't be. Should be using the other button rather than shooting everything inside. These are parts of these mount. Oh, there are parts. I misread that. Sorry. Oh dear, eyes have gone completely. Mountains that can only be reached with the aid of a steel hook. And what are these? All I need now is some rope. So I've got myself a steel hook. Now, I have no idea where else I'm supposed to go to get the rope. I know there is a rope somewhere, just, you know, again, crawling around uh, annoying caves. Oh, there we go. Dead end. Not quite. It's a dead end for now. You'll you'll see that it's not a dead end in the future. And another bloody cave. <laughs> I know. Sound like you enjoy the game a little bit more. I t the problem is I do, but I don't like. I don't like things that annoy me. Obviously. Um, that's a, that's a good obvious statement, that is. Um, I don't like things that annoy me. And caves tend to annoy me. Oh, I almost got blown up for the sake of a small amount of health. Um, don't know if there's anything special in there. You'll probably recognise it. We have technically been here before. But, strictly speaking, I think it's a different one. There we go, yeah. There wasn't this central area. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, i got a grenade. Uh, if, if you're interested in the... Uh, I've got several grenades now. Um, I don't know if I'll be using grenades all that much. They're a little bit... I don't know. Oh, there. Uh, if I'd missed the machine gun in the first armory, I could have could have picked up a second machine gun there. So let's try and... I suppose, actually, since I picked up a load of machine guns, I might as well use it. Um, whoop. Didn't want to do that. One thing I did notice, which may interest you, or or you may have known and realised in the first place, I'm going to waste some here. But if you look, that's actually three bullets um, that fire out of the machine gun. Uh, so yeah, that's not. I, you know, I genuinely thought that might have been quite exciting to hear, but it really wasn't, was it? Um, you use up three bullets instead of one with the machine gun as opposed to the pistol. The hook alone will not allow you to reach the highest regions of these mountains, but use it with this rope, and they shall become available to you. That's fairly obvious. Anyway, I now have my rope, which is grand. I, have, I very nearly said awesome there. I changed my mind and used the phrase grand. Uh, I probably don't want to do that. So now you'll know, now you can find out how I use a grappling hook. Well, you see, you've probably noticed them throughout the levels. There have been bull... I think they're bulls? Statues? And hey! I, I erect a rope and chase after it. I was supposed to be trying to be more funny than I was there. Um, really wasn't worth it. As you can see, the machine gun also does more damage than... does more damage than uh, the pistol because of course it's I don't know whether it is specifically three times as much damage but uh, certainly it, it does more damage than the uh, pistol which makes sense it, it is after all an upgrade of the original weapon the monks have placed statues throughout these mountains use their strength during your ascent 
Uh, grappling again. And the unfortunate thing is, only having two... Oh, I suppose, strictly speaking, you have four buttons available in the old Game Boy. Um, you do have to keep flicking about <laughs> into the menu, flicking the choices, into the menu, flicking the choices around, into the menu... Da, 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 da. It does uh, drag on quite a bit. Um, as, <laughs> as I'm sure most people are thinking, yeah, yeah, we know all about dragging on, this LP's dragging on, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm hoping it's uh, entertaining, ish. Um, I realise being my first one, I've probably not quite gotten into the flow of. Uh, oh, I got a bazooka. I can now bazooka that bazooka straight into a man's head. The bazooka, I'm fairly confident. Um, or I suppose you could call it rocket launcher, law, RPG. Um, I think, although I think the graphic is more sort of certainly not really RPG ish. Uh, where the hell do I go now? Um, uh, did I actually go in there? No, I don't think I did. Uh, anyway, I, what I was saying moments ago before I couldn't decide on what to call the sodding thing is I'm fairly confident the bazooka is in fact a one hit kill for every single enemy um, I'd be tempted to wrap a wrap my hook round his head and drag myself up that way but I don't think he'd appreciate it I don't think anybody would appreciate that in fairness would they oh dear. there we go see Boom. Oh, one hit kill for me as well. I didn't spot. I didn't. I honestly did not see that he had a rocket launcher until the very last minute, and at that point, it was far too late to do anything about it. Oh, there, I tell you what. There's also. I think I realised this the last time I played it, uh, but I can't remember where it is. There's a med kit in here somewhere, and if you, if every, t I forgot completely this time. But if you save and continue. You can actually get a fairly. Um, there we go. There's a med kit there. But I think that reappears every time you save and continue. So if you keep going back into the temple, back into the temple, back into the temple, you can get a fairly infinite supply. Now I'm slightly annoyed that I didn't think of that because I've had <laughs> the amount of times I've game over here, I could have uh, had dozens of med packs, but unfortunately I've only got three. Um, but never mind. I'm sure I'll. I'll model through somehow, and, uh, even if I have to just game over every five seconds to replenish my health bar. I, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. I'll show you grenades just in case. There we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. Um, <laughs> I think that's got to be the possibly the campest uh, grenade ever. Ooh, kaboom. Oh, now I've been shot too much because I'm trying to beat camp. They're actually surprisingly efficient. Um, I think last time I said they... I think I said I wasn't going to use them because I didn't think they were all that good. I think I've made the same mistake going the wrong way every time I've come into this cave. Um, but I suppose it replenishes my health, so that's decent-ish. Anyway... Oh, there's the monkey man again. Literally, monkey man. Um, up here, up here, up here. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. But yes, I, I think in the last in the last episode, I said the uh, grenades weren't all that. Um, clearly, I was wrong. They're actually surprisingly efficient killers. That must be where I've been going wrong. Every other time I've played the game, I've ignored the grenades. Um, ignored the grenades and fought enemies with guns instead of grenades. Whoops, now I'm throwing them in the wrong direction. Now I'm getting shot. Uh, it's going to have to be machete madness. I'm waving around like a madman. <laughs> oh, there goes the childish humour. I had to think of uh, a childish way of thinking there. Um, 
I can probably get away with macheting this guy. Although the grenade's gonna blow my ass in too. Which I don't uh, nobody would appreciate that. Um, oh dear, oh dear, I didn't prepare for that sort of encounter all that well. I think we'll use the rocket launcher. I think I may have just blown myself up partially as well. But never mind. <laughs> oh, if only you could do that in real life. Uh, I think I blew myself up with a rocket launcher. Ah, oh, never mind. Mr. Bandage. Um, there we go, we're back to where I started the episode from now. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I really hope I am, because I could do with Tibet being over. Um, don't know if he says anything interesting. Many braved the dependent mountains, but few survived to face the trial at the summit. There we go, we found another... Another grappling point. Whee! <laughs> so childish. Um, I don't think you can get much more childish than the phrase, Whee! You must first survive the test of courage. Sorry, distracted. Distracted again! Unbelievable. How many times can a person get distracted? Um, well, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> the problem is, of course, just via the audio, you might not even notice. You must leave your equipment at the door. There we go, I told you you lost your machete at some point. This is the worst part of the game. I ri I really feel... I <laughs> Distracted again! Unbelievable. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave the episode there because I keep getting distracted by irritating things. So I'm going to say cheerio and see you again next episode.